On the campus of San Jose State, we begin with a simple question. Just how good is the United States women's gymnastics team? Well, we'll get a good idea today when the U.S. women take on teams from around the Pacific Rim. A women's team from Australia, one from Canada, and teams from Russia and China. And China may be on everyone's mind because four months from today at the National Indoor Stadium, August 13th, teams will march in to compete in the women's team final for the Olympic gold medal in Beijing. That's four months from now, today. Welcome to the Pacific Rim Gymnastics Championships, presented by Gillette Venus. Al Troutwig, along with Olympic gold medalist Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, and Andrea Joyce is looking for stories around the floor, and one of those is Nasta Lukin, one of America's big two. Now, Sean Johnson is not here, but she is, and one of those that she hopes to take on is Dasha Jura of Australia. This is a team competition. The Chinese, like the Americans, will watch the first round. We've already seen plenty from the Chinese and the Russian gymnasts. What kind of a team have they brought here? Is it an A team, a B team, or a C team? Well, Al, they certainly are not their A team. They're some good athletes, but they've left the actual best at home. This is what we've seen so far in round one, China's Ku Xing Wang. Typically, the Chinese are very strong on this apparatus, including balance beam, but not today. This was their top athlete in a big fall. That was a .8 deduction. As they will be in Beijing, the Russian team keeping an eye on their Chinese competition. Soon it was their turn. Number 121 is Ludmila Grebenkova. And she actually is a veteran. Been around a long, long time. Does some of the hardest gymnastics, as you see right there. That put Russia up by 3.05 in round two. China did some good tumbling on the balance beam. Yeah, and showing off classic lines that put them in the lead. And look at this little one right here. She is 11 years old, cute as a button and about four feet tall. She actually walked under the balance beam. <laughs> now to round three. Beautiful tumbling right there. The Chinese certainly can get the job done. Now Russia to the vault, trying to chip away at China's lead. Nice vault, a double twist, but certainly not enough to move ahead of China. And China extended their lead to 1.5 points. Now it's round four. This was their fearless leader. You know, no fuss, no fear. She just gets out there and gets the job done. She was really the glue for this Russian team. But in the end, it was all China. In fact, in dominating fashion, their separation from Russia in those first four rounds, 3.5 points. And these young gymnasts, considering where the Olympics are going to be, can't learn to win fast enough. And as this event moves to the next rotation, the United States will have to watch a little bit more, but soon it will be their time to get busy. Nastia Lukin is one of three seniors on the six member team for each country five compete four scores count part of the rules in this event there you go in the pacific rim championships here on the campus of san jose state university